like, no, I, I don't feel like it's okay for a woman to act like a man. And that's why I'm able to take, I'm able to find a man that wants to take care of me because he knows that I look at life like that. I don't, I think that when a man sleeps, when a man cheats, I think it's just, I think it's not, I, I think he's just, it's enough. But I think it's because daddy taught me that. But I think when a man, when a, when a woman, when a woman sleeps with another man outside the relationship, that's actually cheating because it's emotional for women. Women are emotional creatures. Men are animals. So they just, yeah, they're, they're animals and it's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, they're animals. And so they see a piece of meat, they, they eat it. And then afterwards they want to go home to their wives. They're thinking about their wives. So I don't think it's the same thing. Look. Y'all already know how I feel about this rise of the whole, hey, you can cheat on me type of woman, right? Like, it's her life, it's her choices. If she want to tell her husband he's free to lay up with any woman that he wants and he can still count on having her to come home to, then that's her business. I say break a leg. But no matter how many times and how many ways these girls try to spin it to make it make sense, it just doesn't with me. You know that a man should exclusively be able to cheat, but if his wife does the exact same thing, then she's wrong. Therefore, women should just expect it and be okay with it. Like, especially whenever she said that women are emotional creatures and that's the reason why it's wrong. That's the reason why it's different. Well, reality check. It's 28. 18, not 1918. There are some women that will kick a dude about her house before he even gets his just because she got hers. Like women are not just falling madly in love with every dude that they lay down with, you know, just in case you haven't noticed. But let's just go with her mindset. You know, let's just put ourselves in her shoes, try to think with her logic or lack thereof for a second. And let's say that women are just totally emotional bots incapable of thinking outside of what they feel. You want to know what's not emotional? Side babies and the child support that you and your husband gonna have to pay for him because I guarantee he gonna make at least one of them because he's gonna be having unprotected sex with these women since that's what he's used to having with his wife. He's not about to downgrade to something that he can't even feel. Which brings me to my next point. You wanna know what else isn't emotional? STDs, in which some STDs are actually worse than side babies because you can leave that man and his side babies whenever you get ready. It's some STDs that you're gonna have to take to the grave with you. And depending on which one it is, it might not be that long of a trip, just being honest. But if we're going to go with this whole e women are emotional thing, that has to include the other women that he's sleeping with. So if he's making all these women out here emotional over him, attached to him, at what point do you think one of them is going to say, I want his main chick spot? I want to be the one that he comes home to. So you telling your dude that he's free to go out here and cheat on you all willy nilly is you telling your dude that he's free to go make you all these emotional enemies that you don't know, but I bet you they know you. However, the, the saddest part of her interview it was the part whenever she said that this is what her dad taught her. Like, she's not one of these girls out here that's just been demoralized and hurt so badly that she don't have a whole lot of self-esteem. Like, her dad taught her that all men are just animals and need a piece of meat here and there, which is code for boys will be boys, a.k.a. give men a pass and let them do what they really, really, really want to, even if it's wrong and they will be pissed off if you did it so that one of them will pick you. And as a father, I just can't understand why you would teach your daughter that it's better to want a man who will simply pick her as opposed to a man who will love her. Like, I don't get it. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I'll let y'all later. Peace.